What's going on, everybody? Thought I'd do something a little bit different today and explain how I play Marvel Concept of Champions with only one hand. Now, this is not meant to be any type of bragging style video or anything like that. This is an instructional guide on how to play one handed because I do think that everyone can do this with some practice. Now, I might make it look a little bit easier than if you try it yourself. Uh, but that's only because I've been doing this for years. So if you give yourself some time to, to get used to uh, the kind of change in setup that I'm going to show you, uh, I really do feel that everyone is capable of doing this. Okay, with that said, let me explain uh, how playing with one hand works. So normally, you know, we, we do have two hands on the device, and, uh, you know, playing like this, we'll, we'll go through a, uh, a fight real quick, uh, or kind of look at a fight real quick at least because I think everyone kind of gets the idea if you're watching this video I'm sure you understand uh, how to how to actually play the game uh, with the basic movements the taps and all that stuff right uh, okay so obviously if you drop either hand well now you only have access to one side of the screen you can still you can still uh, swipe out dash in uh, I guess you can do like double mediums really before having to back out, but what about your light attacks? Well, you can't really do that. Uh, and then of course, if you're using the other side of the screen, well, it's even worse. Like, what are you going to do over here, man? Uh, <laughs> so, the way to play one-handed is actually to position your hand right in the center of the screen. Uh, and if you just imagine a an invisible line basically going, whoops, going straight down the center of the device, uh, you know, you just you need to you need to tap just barely on either side of the device. Um, so pay attention to where my you know the 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 very tip of my thumb is and how it's just kind of bouncing back and forth over that invisible threshold uh, in order to uh, in order to fight. And I was about to hit my special there, but the fight was already over. And that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. Uh, I do have a couple of other things to explain just to hopefully make things a little bit easier um, on, on how to hold it and stuff like that. The most difficult part, I would say, is uh, reaching to the corners to hit like all of the different buttons and everything. Uh, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll throw my second hand on there just to, uh, you know, set up the arena match and then I'll go back to playing one handed. Uh, and this just allows my other hand, you know, the freedom to do whatever else, right? I, you know, sometimes. Um, I'll be eating or something like I mean when, when I was working full time uh, this is how I was able to get arena time in uh, while working is is not not actually on the job working but while on break I would you know take take my break take my my lunch break and eat with one hand while grinding arena with the other and was able to get in my top champions and help me to kind of build up my roster uh, you know, it was still very difficult at the time uh, to juggle everything and go for uh, champions, which is why I didn't go for a ton while working full time. But you know, the basic arena and, and stuff like that. Uh, all right, let me let me switch off hands too, because you could definitely do this with with either hand. And I'll show a slightly different position. If if you, I'm going to call it my my pinky on this one, uh, this might be a little bit easier for people to to get used to, because you do kind of you know lock in the device. With, with your pinky over here. Uh, and for some reason, it's just a little bit more natural for me to have my pinky on, on the corner here with my with my right hand. Uh, I certainly do it sometimes with my left as well. I think a lot of it has to do mostly with the position that, you're, that the rest of your body is in. I'm in an extremely awkward position right now where I'm you know hunched over, sitting behind a camera. I'm trying to hold it as far away from the camera as possible so my hands are fully stretched out, uh, which also might explain why I'm a little bit shaky here. <laughs> Normally I'm not, not very shaky, but watch, if I, if, I, you know, if I hold it right up to the camera lens, it gets real blurry. Uh, so I'm trying to keep it stretched out. Um, and yeah, I'm just hunched over kind of looking down. I mean, you could see like that's the you know, I'm, I'm looking at my wall. That's the, 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 the divider between the wall and the floor right there. Um, so a very awkward position. Uh, I'd recommend trying this laying down first, believe it or not. Uh, and the reason for that is just because the natural position that your arm will be in uh, is, it, it just makes it much more comfortable to hold the phone. Um, so yeah, I would recommend trying that. Try, you know, try with, with both hands, see what you like more. Uh, and then just, you know, practice with it a little bit. Don't do it in difficult fights. Uh, stick to something like the arena. 
I do not play one-handed in something like Alliance War. Occasionally I'll do an Alliance quest for fights that don't matter as much. Uh, and questing and stuff like that. It, it kind of just depends on how difficult I feel the fight actually is. Um, so yeah, that's I mean that's that's pretty much it. There's there's a few different few different positions. Like I said, you know sometimes you could play like like this. Uh, it, it's it, it almost kind of reminds me of how people hold uh, like like a writing utensil or or an eating utensil or whatever. How how people just have slightly different positions for their fingers, where you know instead of my pinky kind of securing the screen, I could have. Uh, my my ring finger doing it and you know throwing in champions this way, uh, you know I actually there was there was one time that uh, I, I kind of, this is the first time I ever tried playing like this. I was on vacation with my uh, with my wife's family and uh, you know I didn't really want them to know I was I was playing the game at the time. And normally you know if if I'm if I'm out with people if I'm you know especially with my like with family or something like that. I'm not playing the game. Uh, but essentially, we were, uh, you know, sitting around the, the breakfast table, uh, and everyone was eating breakfast, and afterwards, you know, people kind of moved on to their own thing. Uh, people were, were reading the news and stuff like that, and I don't really care about the news, right? So uh, I just wanted to play the game, but I didn't really want people to know I was playing a game. So uh, I, I feel like it was it was a little bit more hidden, just having the phone held like this, because it's a little bit more natural for, you know, just just for most things that we do on our devices. Uh, so it is a little bit more difficult to kind of wrap your head around playing uh, like this, but it is certainly doable if, if uh, you want to practice with it. I, I really don't recommend this for, for most people. I know some people are going to be looking at this like, oh man, I could do this while in school or something like that. Like, no, just, you know, pay attention to, to like, life is more important than, than arena grinding. Uh, so yeah, make sure you're doing that. Let me, let me try to hold it slightly different for this next fight in case it wasn't clear the way it was, was coming across. I'll just hold it with my left hand and use my, my index finger here in place of my thumb and really just show that you only need to be uh, right on the left or right side of that invisible dividing line that is right down the center of the screen. You do not need to be uh, so far stretched out on, uh, you know, on either side um, on either side of the device the way that we normally are with our thumbs. You just have to be on either side of that, of that div oh god, whoops, right, right down the center of that screen. I mean, if you look at the, the, the pause button up there, uh, use that as your, as your indicator of where the center of the screen is, and then, yeah, you can just tap on, on either side. So, so far, I've only played uh, Arena doing this. I'm going to hop into something a little bit more difficult. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take this take this party on over to uh, to Labyrinth of Legends. And as I said before, sometimes getting around the menus can be the most difficult part of this. So sometimes I will throw on my uh, my second hand just to navigate around the menu, throw in whatever champions I need to throw in. Uh, for the purposes of this video, I'll keep doing it one-handed. But yeah, really, I would be throwing in the second hand for this. Uh, let's see what we've got. We've got Medusa on team here. Is there anyone else I'd rather throw into Realm of, or Labyrinth of Legends? No, I think we'll just stick with Medusa. Uh, and yeah, should we do Red Hulk? Should we do Star Lord? It's kind of more fun fighting Star Lord, but Red Hulk has less health, so we'll go t we'll go fight Red Hulk actually. Um, all right. So yeah, I, I I mean I don't I don't know. If I'm able to like get the solo on this guy, I'm sure I would be able to if I if I played it enough. But uh, we'll give it one shot here. We'll see how far I can get, and we'll kind of I'm going to switch off between left and right hand as we go. All right, Red Hulk, let's go, man. Do your thing. Uh, and this is this will be pretty helpful for people that you know uh, uh, have uh, have fatigue or sometimes if they get pain in their hands or wrists or something like that if you can play maybe a few rounds of the arena with your with your left hand uh, and then switch it over to your right hand uh, it's just just putting your your hands in different positions uh, and not having them lock up so you know pop my special we'll go ahead and switch on over to the, the right hand now oh god this is so 
uncomfortable the way I'm sitting is the biggest thing. Uh, <laughs> I definitely recommend your first time doing this in a uh, in a laying down position again, just to make it more natural for your body uh, to support the device. Oh man, yeah. He, okay, we need to play a little bit more aggressively here. If I'm going to build back to that special three, uh, don't want that armor shatter to drop. Let's go, Red Hulk. Come on, bud. All right, screw it. We'll push him to the L2. Might not be able, be able to evade this. Come on, bud. No, I'm going to lose my armor shatter. Come on. No. Actually, I heard there's a... This would be a good chance. Oh, yep. Okay. I was going to say, someone told me last night on stream that there was a bug uh, with Medusa where the bleeds don't drop off right now. So, okay. Uh, looks like this will be a very easy takedown then. Because <laughs> if, if those permanent bleeds stay... Uh well then yeah this dude this this is gonna be it's gonna be easy let's let's switch it play this style real quick get a little bit of this action going uh no seriously this is this is not fun to look at actually you guys probably hate looking at that too we'll go back to this way <laughs> oh man I I've only done that like eh, a couple times maybe maybe like twice ever holding it uh that other way. It is not something that is recommended. We need to be doing more light attacks. I just realized to get those bleed stacking. We'll do medium, followed by four lights. Come on, bud. Well, let's go. And yeah, I mean, there's, there's not much difference between... Uh, once you get comfortable with this, there's really not much difference between uh, having two hands on the device and switching off between them. Uh, I'll show you another way that I switch sometimes. You know, I won't even throw the special, and I'll kind of just go to two hands and then kind of switch like that. But, of course, now we need to throw that special. Um, so, yeah, just, just find something that's comfortable for you. Again, I, I recommend this position where your three middle fingers are supporting the back of the device uh, and your, your pinky's kind of holding on, securing it. This way it just allows your thumb to kind of to kind of move in and out a little bit. Um... You could even kind of do what I was what I was showing before, where you're kind of resting the vi the device on something, uh, uh, whether it's like a, a a desk or I don't know if some people have like like holders or stands for their uh, for their phone or tablet or something like that. Uh, you could you could certainly play with your index finger if you. If you so choose. I wonder if I throw an L2 here without the armor shatter uh, up if he'll get all the crazy bleeds. Because if the game is thinking that I have an armor shatter going, we'll have to test that on the next special. Uh, but yeah, you could, you know, you could do that too if it's resting on something flat. I have technically played the game like this in the past, but it's pretty rare. Uh, I don't really recommend playing this style. Uh, ooh, ooh. Uh, I, I mean, well, I, I recommend maybe trying it, but I never got comfortable playing like that. Oh, look at this. Even this way, I'm getting hit. So uh, let's go back to just playing with my thumb. Uh, it's much, much more comfortable playing with my thumb for me, at least. Uh, and this is how I'm playing most of the time when I'm streaming Arena. Uh, get that L2 going. I guess the armor shatter's still on at the moment. But this is, this is uh, how I look most of the time when I'm playing uh, Arena on stream. And then my other hand is kind of on the side, just holding on to uh, the mouse, you know, scrolling up and down, trying to read as many comments as possible and all that. Uh, makes it makes life just uh, just that much easier to have a, a free hand. Uh, you know, I don't exercise as much as I should, but uh, there are plenty of mornings where I'll, I'll wake up and uh, hop on the exercise bike that's behind me and... Uh, you know, I can hold on to the handles with one hand. Let's all right. Let's check, let's test this L2. Nope, does not. The game. So, all right. So the game doesn't think there's an armor shatter. It's just that these bleeds, for whatever reason, aren't dropping. But yeah, you know, you could be on the exercise bike, get in uh, a round of your your top champions or something like that with one hand holding on to uh, uh, the bars of the bike, playing with the other. Kind of makes the time uh, pass by. Makes makes the whole uh, exercise process not feel. Uh, as as bad as excruciating as if you're like me, uh, I just hate exercise. Um, but something has to be done. 
Anyway, this Red Hulk is almost down here. Not uh, not the cleanest or fastest fight, but you know, again, uh, when going through Labyrinth of Legends, I do normally have two hands on the device, so uh, not able to play as aggressive with just the one hand. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I kind of left out from the tips of playing with one hand. Um, I guess the big thing really is just just to, like I said, practice. Uh, it is an extremely valuable tip. I would say, like, the number one thing that will help you in the arena is to have the Suicide Masteries on. The number two thing that will help you grind arena uh, better is learning how to play with one hand. I value it that much. Value it over any other uh, thing that you can do in this game. Just because, uh, you know, we all we all have other things in life. And even just the simple things like, uh, you know, sitting down and having a 30 minute lunch break uh, and being able to uh, you know to get in your top champions midday get them on cooldown oh my god well so much for the solo uh, but, <laughs> but getting in your champions while uh, uh, what's it called while, you know while while uh, being able to eat and then go back to, to work or something like that it just allows you to to do so much more little things like that um, so yeah, take some time, uh, and I would re highly recommend practicing the one-handed uh, style of play. Uh, I, again, one last thing I guess I'll say is I normally don't use one hand to navigate the menu so much. In arena, I'll still do it, because uh, it's not too bad in the arena, but for something like navigating the screen, uh, you know, it's, it's just kind of a pain having to stretch your, your thumbs out all the way to all the corners. It can obviously be done, but it's, it's really best when you're in an actual fight and you just imagine that, that center dividing line and you can kind of just bounce back and forth on either side of the device. So I hope this helps and let me know what you guys think. If you have questions, I... Uh, we'll try my best to, to, to come back to uh, the comments on this one and, uh, and, and answer any questions that, uh, that you guys have, but I do think it's mostly just a matter of, uh, of kind of practicing and, and, and getting comfortable. Uh, all right, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. That's my, th that, that's my thumb. It's a little bit blurry. Take care.